All right. So now let's talk about the the main topic of this week. So that is uh, data cleaning and also processing in Tableau. So Tableau uh, has a tool that called Tableau Prep. Uh, actually, it's called Tableau Prep Builder that allow us to clean the data and also process the data before we are going to do any visualizations. Um, so I think we all already mentioned this one in our first week that in Tableau, there are two types of data. So um, uh, we have dimensions and we also have the measures. So dimensions are those categorical data. The data cannot be countable and can only be used for group filter or build hierarchies. OK, so we will see what does that mean later. Um, we also have measures. So those are like uh, those are countable and also we can do some calculations. Uh, so those normally those are numbers. So let's look at one example. So on this table, so ask yourself, so which columns should be considered dimensions and also which columns should be considered matters. OK, so normally we all know that, OK, so this should be dimension, 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 right? Because those are strings. OK, so I think the really real question is that ID, are those dimensions or matters? OK, so I would think those are dimensions because Although they are numbers, it, you cannot add those numbers up. For example, if you use this ID plus another ID, that does not make sense, right? And I will also consider the uh, date as dimensions, OK? So because they are just different uh, interval, temporal intervals. And for the other two columns, so I will consider those as measures, OK? Right. So. The first part, so those parts are considered dimensions because we can group, organize, or cat, uh, categorize those uh, data set. And for the other part, those are considered measures. OK, so I think the key takeaway is that even the data look like numbers, so they may not be measures, so they might be dimensions. OK, uh, another concept is called live verse extract. I, I think we also mentioned that one a little bit in the previous lab. So live means that Tableau will make direct connections to the data. OK, uh, so for example, that this is Tableau. OK, and also this is our uh, database. OK, so we can build a live uh, connection. So that means that when you want to make some visualizations, Tableau will send out the query to the database or the data warehouse, etc. The database or data warehouse will run the queries and then will return the required result to Tableau. Okay, and the Tableau will send out the result uh, in this chart. So like the bar chart, pie chart, etc. So that is what we call the live connection. And we can also have a data extract. So data extract means that so uh, we no longer making queries directly to the data uh, source. So for example, if we have Excel file. And what we are going to do is that the data will load it into Tableau and Tableau will extract data into the format that is stored on the local disk. So that is a uh, it can be a, it is something like a snapshot of the data. Uh, so we have two formats. So normally we are using hyper. That is uh, the latest format. So that is for example the hyper format. OK, and the next Tableau will making queries from the hyper format and also to deliver the visualizations that you you um, you want to create. OK, so hyper will be more efficient. So that is uh, personally, if you have, like, say, a data set that is uh, in the Excel files or the CSV files, so I would generate the extract, okay, so that we can have high performance. 
if you have a huge data source that is in a relational database or data warehouse, so probably you can just use a live uh, connection so that because uh, database or data warehouse itself are very pretty efficient. Okay, so now let's talk about Tableau Prep. Uh, so Tableau Prep is a pretty new uh, product in Tableau. It provides a visual and also direct, direct way that we can combine, shape, and also clean the data. Okay, uh, so we will use the Tableau Prep Builder that can build your data flows. So that is the flow that how you can clean your data. So you may clean your data in, in multiple steps, like you, you want to join your data, uh, merge your data, split the data, do the data cleaning, group, etc. Uh, Tableau Conductor is used to schedule your data cleaning job. Okay, uh, so in our class, we will not use this one. So we will use the Tableau Prep Builder only. Okay, um, both Tableau Prep and also Tableau Desktop have a function called Data Interpreter. So data interpreter is a very great function that can help you to get started to clean your data. So when you load data in either desktop or the Tableau um, prep, so you will always have the uh, option that to do you want to clean the data with the Tableau interpreter? Okay, so that is very great. So if you so if you have a data that in Excel files, so normally they have some uh, random cells that do not have the data and also for example if their data start from the second rows okay so that is a great place that you can enable this interpreter okay so that can i um, so that tableau will be will try to understand your data first and to provide a clean data so for you okay so interpreter is a really great function and uh, we will try that one uh, later in Tableau Prep and also in the future in Tableau uh, Desktop. Okay, uh, so now let's see some common and also powerful data processing and also data cleaning functions that support it in Tableau Prep. Uh, so first, we can join our data. So if you remember that in a relational database, so join two tables is very common. Uh, normally, we, we, are, we are joining two tables based on a, um, a common column or the common field so that we can enrich our result. So in this example that we are using the orders table to join the returns table. OK, so based on a common ID, so probably um, based on this order ID. OK, so we will see the information about the returns and also orders. Uh, the, there are four types of join. So uh, if you remember that from the data mining class, so we have inner join so that only returned, only the matched result will be returned from both tables. Uh, we also have the left join. So that means we will have all the records from the left table and also the matched records from the right table. Okay, so those are the two uh, the most commonly used type of joins. We also have the right joins and also four joins. So all those types of joins are supported in Tableau. Uh, in addition to join, we can also union the data. OK, so union data means that so if we have the two tables that have the same structure and they are talking about the same data type and we can union those data together. So um, the most common um, scenario is that, for example, we have the data that in different time period. So, for example, we have the orders in July and also we have orders in June. They are saved in two uh, tables, and in that case, we can union those two tables as a single data set. So, basically, the difference between union and join is that so to join the table, we need to put two tables horizontally. So based on a common key, so the result will be a very, very wide okay, so a table. 
to union tables, we will put two tables vertically based on a similar table structure so that we will have a very, very long table after the union. Okay, uh, blending the data. So if you want to combine the data from multiple resources, in some scenarios, you cannot join your table or you cannot union your table. So that is the case that you can blend your table. So normally you can blend table that from different resources. And those data are still in separate data containers. However, you can get those information together. So that is called blend the data. And we will see some examples uh, in our future labs. OK, uh, we can split a field. OK, so that means that we can split data, split a field based on separator. So in this example that you will have a customer name and if you want to split the first name and also last name, we can split based on the space. OK, so that is a split operation. We can also pivot the table. So the pivot table is that we can convert the table from the cost, cost type format into the column format. OK, so that is easier uh, for analysis. OK. And we'll see another example later uh, in the demo. Uh, Tableau also provides some cleaning functions, like we can make all the cases up cases or lower cases. Uh, we can remove letters or numbers. Uh, we can also remove the punctuations. Or we can just remove the spaces. OK, so um, this is our interface of Tableau Prime. And also you can see those other most commonly functions, the cleaning functions in Tableau Prep. Uh, Tableau Prep also provides some, provide some group and also replace functions. Like we can uh, group or replace the data that based on the pronunciation, uh, the common characterize, or the spells. OK, uh, so that is the interface of Tableau Prep so that we can group the data. OK, based on the spelling, pronunciations, etc. OK, and those functions or those operators may sound like very abstract. So that's why that we are going to have a demo that to demonstrate those functions that in Tableau Prep. Uh, 